Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, let's continue where we left off. And I'm thinking we should take some more cities from Gandhi. Because why not? We could maybe even go for his capital. He did build the temple of Artemis. I bet it's in his capital. We can check once our spy arrives there. Meanwhile, let's do some damage to Bangalore, shall we? Shouldn't be too hard to take that one. And it's decent-ish. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's kind of in the way. So if we want to take Delhi, we need to take Bangalore. Or at least we should. To make it safer. Alright then. So I assume he will have more units in the back. We should probably be careful. We can, however, do some damage. That will do. Hide the longswordsmen inside the city. And I think that's basically it. Not much else we can do here. And we'll grab an academy. This should actually finish Compass. Yep, there it is. Because we expanded a great person. We'll work the academy, obviously. And that's basically it. What do you want? Declaration of Friendship. I don't want Declaration of Friendship with Carthage, sorry. Portugal is spamming a lot of missionaries. Where are they going exactly? Speaking of missionaries, we should grab our own. Or an Inquisitor to remove Gandhi's religion. I still want to spread our religion to these new Ottoman cities. But at the same time, I do want to kick Gandhi out. Let's grab an Inquisitor. Alright. Speaking of Gandhi, let's do some damage, shall we? Yeah, Bangalore should be pretty easy to take. Maybe get rid of that trebuchet. Not sure if it's safe to just move in. It might or might not be. Huh. I don't want to lose these units. Let's move in. And like this. Good enough. And there's the next promotion. Accuracy 2. Where's the general? Right here. Inside the city. Let's move him one tile closer, so that he will be in range of everything. Everything except these guys to the west. So, how many units does Gandhi still have? He's sending a few. Maybe we should move out of range with that trebuchet after all. Yeah, I guess we should. But hey, we got a promotion out of it. Thanks. Let's see, this guy needs to die. Let's maybe back up one tile. It's slightly too risky right now. Village and move into the mountain. So, longswordsman. That guy needs to go down. And we'll just stay here and fortify until healed. As for other improvements, let's grab a lumber mill to the southwest. And then... What are we still missing? A few farms near Macho. There's the Inquisitor. Just move him towards Agra. Skirmisher is back to full health. And we are allied with Bratislava again. Very nice. I might get another diplomat or two to get more influence with Bratislava. It's kind of low priority right now, but it definitely wouldn't hurt. We can get an emissary in three turns. We can also build a chancery somewhere. Probably a good idea. We'll see. For now, we got 91 influence. It will be enough for a while. What about the quests? They want us to generate a great diplomat and acquire the city of Ankara. Well, we'll get a great diplomat eventually. 
in 59 turns. Hey, the quest should still be there. Unless something funny happens. Anything else? Nope, that's it. We could always just peace out with Gandhi and then declare war again in 10 turns, but I'd rather not. Yes, accept. Theodora has quite a lot of cities. How many cities is that? Let's have a look. 16 cities, alright. Good for her. Back up slightly. There's our next promotion. And we got a great general, nice. Our second great general. He'll definitely come in handy. We can use him for a citadel at some point. And we probably will. So, what else do we need around here? We could always buy a tile or two. Might be worth considering. Next promotion, accuracy free. Oh, Gandhi is sending an elephant now, alright. If you say so. How much strength does that guy have? Quite a lot. 36 ranged combat strength. And there's a great general on this tile. I wouldn't mind killing the great general. Let's see if we can actually do that. Would be nice. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I think we can if we use the other heavy skirmisher. Like this. Unfortunately, there's nowhere entirely safe to go. I can move the longswordsman and move back into the city. This is enough. There, we killed the great general. Very nice. Let's back up. This should be enough. Alright. And we still want Bangalore. That did not change. Oh, and Agra is out of resistance. We should probably just annex the city. We have 29 happiness, so... There's no reason not to annex it. Come on, Gandhi. He wants peace. I'm not interested just yet. I want at least one more city. Not sure if we'll be going for Delhi right now. But I want at least Bangalore. Especially since it's down to half health already. It's down to red now. We can probably take it on the next turn. I'm pretty sure we can. Back up. Can we take it right now? I think we can. Yes, we actually can. And then we can peace out. There, it's ours. Annex it right away. Now Puppet. Is he going to negotiate or do we have to wait? Yeah, he will. So, let's go for it. He'll give us 92 gold. Not a whole lot, but fine by me. We got two cities out of it. So, that alone is worth it. And we got some spices. Which we didn't have before, did we? No, we did not. So, that's our only source right now. We can always declare war again a little bit later and go for Delhi. Alright. Oh, this city already has a temple. Nice. Let's remove the religion already. On the next turn. We got a lot of experience during this war, too. That's definitely going to be useful. Back into our territory. And a lumber mill. And we'll grab two farms on these two tiles, I think. 
It's not like we can build much else. Lumber mill. And how about we just buy this tile? Yep. And grab a terrace farm. Okay, looks good. We got 2000 gold. I'm just going to save up for unit upgrades. Because unit upgrades are really damn expensive. It might seem like a lot of gold, but it really isn't. Oh, Rome also finished the war with Gandhi. I almost expected Rome to take advantage of the fact Gandhi is weakened. But maybe Rome isn't very strong either, who knows. One more farm for adjacency bonuses. And we can consider going to war with Portugal next, if we want to. Might not be a bad idea. That was the original plan. It's just that Gandhi declared war while we were preparing. Heal back to full first. And remove heresy. We might have to do it twice. No, we removed all of it. Now we need a missionary. Which is not a problem. Missionary and another inquisitor. Yeah, I think so. But first, missionary. Yeah, we need to remove heresy from Bangalore. And it might not be a bad idea to park an inquisitor in some of these cities. Because Portugal might send missionaries and inquisitors eventually. We wouldn't want that, would we? How many more followers do we need? We need 6% more. Yeah, that shouldn't be too hard. If we push a little bit harder, it should be doable just fine. In a reasonable future. Heal back to full. Alright, next. We should fix some of these roads. Remove this section and then connect Bangalore. Gold for an embassy, that's not a very good trade. He doesn't have any more gold. He will not give us copper. We can exchange embassies, but I'm not giving him gold. We can try to sell to the Ottomans. They don't exactly like us, but we got a boost with the Ottomans. Because they adopted our religion in the majority of their cities. Oh, he doesn't really have any gold. Never mind. We can't even get an embassy with him. Alright. Fine. Whatever. Lumber mill. And what else? Another farm. There's the missionary, so send him to Agra and send the Inquisitor to Bangalore. Off you go. And we can buy a missionary in the west. Actually, no, there's no need anymore. The religion spread on its own. Or maybe the Ottomans spread it. We could, however, convert the city-state. That's not a bad idea. Or Bursa. What else? Yeah, it looks like we need inquisitors more than missionaries at the moment. We could remove the Portuguese religion from Bratislava and then spread our own religion to Bratislava. I'd like to stay allied with Bratislava if possible. We'll see if that's going to happen. And we need a writer's guild by now. That will be our third one. We are friendly with quite a few city-states. Mostly from quests. What do you want? You want Agra? I don't think so, buddy. I got different plans. Speaking of Agra, though, let's annex the city. Should have done it a few turns ago. So annex. And we still got 19 happiness. Courthouse first. Let's maybe just rush it. 
320 gold. Yeah, sure. Courthouse, then monument, granary, and we'll see once all of that is done. Machu, finished university. Alright. Let's grab a temple. And then maybe a culture bonus. Plus on gold and culture. For temples, amphitheaters and gardens. We don't have any of those in here just yet. Circus Maximus, we don't need that yet, do we? Well, plus 10% culture and gold during Wheel of the King Day. Reduces boredom. The production cost and population requirements increase... Right, I know that part. Quick barracks, maybe? Or grocer. Alright, let's grab a grocer in here. What about specialists? We could work scientists if we want to. I'd rather keep the city focused on production. This is our highest production city and I'd like it to stay that way. Worker. We need a few more improvements on the west side. And we should connect Agra with a road. Let's maybe get started on that. Then this could be a village on top of a road. Something like that. Spread religion and send Inquisitor to Bangalore. Alright, this should be enough to spread our religion to Bangalore. Might as well upgrade this guy. We still need a few more upgrades. Let's maybe handle those. Explorer. Yeah, just upgrade everything. That's it. And we'll get gunpowder on the next turn. This would be a pretty good moment to go to war with Portugal. If we want to do that. Especially since we are allied with Bratislava. But before we even consider declaring war on Portugal, we need to move our army north. There's gunpowder. And golden age, nice. Okay, what's next? Metallurgy? To unlock musket men and lancers? Sure, 14 turns. Maybe theology really quick. Plus some culture from scientists and we would unlock the garden. Yeah, okay, let's get theology real quick. That's only a few turns. And then we can go for metallurgy. Unless we want civil service. That will give us more food. Okay, civil service it is then. Alright, civil service and then metallurgy. Farm. So, you will go to Bangalore, and same with the missionary. Just need to wait for the Inquisitor. How about upgrades? These are going to be expensive. 330 gold. Okay. And what about the trebuchets? 410 gold. However, we only got two of those. So, upgrade, and then the longswordsman. We need one turn. We are making 123 gold per turn now. That is pretty good. And we need one more caravan. Jade from Sweden. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. He has a lot of jade. Alright. Here, that's acceptable. We are doing quite well. Sweden captured the city. There's the herbalist. And oh yeah, right, faith. 
Do we want more missionaries or more inquisitors right now? Kind of both, really. Oh, Bratislava doesn't have a majority religion anymore. Portugal is sending a lot of emissaries. But not to Bratislava, apparently. So... It doesn't really affect us. We could also buy a few more religious buildings. Which ones? <laughs> because we got several. That's a good question, actually. Let's check Agra real quick. Mandir was... what? Oh yeah, reduces poverty, plus 10% food. And counters enemy spies. Mosque was science. Monastery for the science, faith, and scientist slot. Let's get demand here to speed up city growth. Okay, works for me. 14 turns. And we can still get the monastery, that's plus 3 food. Here, 10 turns. <laughs> Much better. So these three tiles are going to be farms, I think. Or this... yeah, this three and this will be a village. Okay, we'll leave a few units over here, just in case Gandhi gets any silly ideas. And send a few north. Remove heresy. And spread religion. Oh, we don't even need to do that anymore. Right. How about we send this guy to Bratislava then? Maybe we can convert it. Works for me. How many followers do we have now? We need 4% more. We are getting close. And that's our capital. We could build an arena for a little bit of extra production. We do have barracks and I think we also have the forge. No, we don't have the forge. But we can build it pretty quickly. Okay. What about a stable? How many tiles would benefit from that? Zero, apparently. Or one. Never mind then. House tech progress for everyone. 34 techs for Portugal. 30 for us, 35 for Sweden. Sweden is maintaining its advantage in tech. 5 techs isn't really a big deal, but I don't like how they are constantly ahead. Alright. More city growth and university. These style assignments look good. What's next? Stable perhaps? Maybe a castle, just in case. Or arena. We do have barracks. We can build a forge. Okay, forge and arena. House city growth, 17, 12 and 17. Writer's guild is almost done. Alright, let's move. Yoto. One hundred ninety-five faith. Yeah, let's focus on getting apostolic palace for now. We can always get more religious buildings later. It's not like they are going anywhere. We'll leave one great general here and send the other one north. He's already in Tiwanaku. And theology is about to finish. That will give us some extra culture. We do have quite a few scientists. 
This should be like plus 15 culture at least. Plus 10. Yeah, that's good enough. Civil service is next. Another terrace farm. We got everything we need around this city. We can still get a few more farms to the southwest. And Macho. Yeah, it has everything it needs. For now. We mostly got all the improvements we needed already. So let's see if we can convert Bratislava. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll need an Inquisitor. Alright, never mind. I guess we'll get an Inquisitor. We need 4% more. Inquisitor it is then. Where is he? Oh wait, we don't have our religion in Tiwanaku anymore. Right. Yeah, we should permanently park an Inquisitor in there. That's what we'll do. One turn to build a forge, alright. Work the Writer's Guild. Looks good otherwise. More farms. And oh yeah, the road. We should build the road to Agra. In fact, that should be slightly more important right now. Than farms. Let's move everyone. We are at 18 out of 22 units. Might be a good idea to build a few more before we declare war. I'm not in a huge rush to declare war on Portugal right now. But I would like to take at least a city or two from them. They are at 34 techs. Which means they will be tougher to deal with than Gandhi. Forbidden Palace. I guess we won't be getting that. Oh yeah, that requires policy tree that we don't have. A lot of border growth. And plus one population. So, there's the forge. What can we grab next? University, only four turns. Yep. Let's just grab that. And maybe Circus Maximus. This city would be pretty good for that, I think. Alright, let's just build Circus Maximus in here. It's only three turns. Might as well get it done. One more terrace farm. Let's send one guy east to help with that road to Agra. Yeah, Portugal is still sending missionaries. Let's maybe keep one Inquisitor in our capital. That seems reasonable. We need 41 more faith. Yeah, keep one in our capital. This is why I want the Apostolic Palace as soon as possible. Because Portugal is actively trying to replace our religion. And they still hate us. So even if we ask them not to do it, they won't exactly care. A great writer, nice. Do we have enough slots? Yes, we do. We could go for culture, but right now I'd rather get as many great works as possible. So, there it is. And grocery is finished. Maybe we should grab that chancery. It's only three turns in here. Also barracks. That's literally one turn. And we got an arena, so barracks will also give us plus two production. 
definitely makes sense. Temple has finished. So, Arena. Minus two from crime, minus one from poverty. Well, we can fix crime quite easily. Let's grab an armory then. And maybe Arena after that. Works for me. Or other way around. Other way around makes sense because we'll get plus two hammers from barracks. Village or farm? A farm would still be decent here because that will be two farms adjacent to each other. Oh wait, we can't build a farm on this tile, can we? No. Okay. Okay, let's grab a farm here. We don't need more food around that city in general. It's a little bit too low on food right now. We can replace some of the forests with farms, like this one. This can be a farm. And then this one. To make a triangle. That's probably best. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.